right, so before we get started on this one, I'm going to give the same disclaimer that I gave on the Trent Palmer video. I'm just having a good time. I think Mike Patey seems like a really interesting guy, and the things that he's been able to do with aviation and engineering and to uh, motivate others and encourage others uh, with, with his Draco project, with all of his other projects as well, is something that I think is really, uh, really cool. Um, but I just wanted to have a little bit of fun with this, uh, especially now that spring is back again. So, uh, hope you enjoy it. What's up, guys? I am so excited for this video. This is the culmination of many years of work, uh, something that we've undertaken a long time ago, and it's finally ready to be shown to you after such a long time. Finally going to be able to introduce you to Drake Mo. But before then, roll the intro. So this is where it all started. A number of years ago, I had gotten a, a nice 21 inch uh, commercial grade mower and it was doing a great job uh, but you know it had these little uh, pizza cutter wheels on it and uh, the engine was underpowered and and it was just slow and it wasn't it just wasn't doing the job that I wanted it to do so uh, I went ahead and I and I found a, a 32 inch pro line and uh, that was working great for a while. Uh, eventually that wasn't really fulfilling what I wanted either. So I'd been wanting to do some upgrades for a while, but then uh, a little while ago I had an incident where I hit a tree stump with the old 32 and just destroyed the 13 horsepower Kohler engine on it. So I decided that that was probably as best a time as any to go ahead and just start making some of these upgrades. and. Um, I was just going to put a new engine on it, but then, well, you know, things got a little crazy. Uh, things just continued to move forward from there. So now I'd like to introduce you to Drake Mo. Drake Mo has a beefed up suspension, nice Tundra tires on it, carbon fiber controls, went ahead and put a Chevy 454 on the top, and this big old spotlight on the back. Check out how bright this spotlight is. couldn't find any wheel casters that were in the size that I needed, so I had to go ahead and machine these wheel casters myself. Has a nice glass cockpit. Drake Mo is so maneuverable. I can turn around in zero degrees. I can accelerate from zero to ten and quickly. I can decelerate from ten to zero so fast it'll throw you over the handlebars thanks to the beta mode. Also, just wanted to say, Drake Mo is not for sale. I don't know who put that website up, but we are hunting them down to find out that website's bogus. If you see Drake Mo for sale, that's not from me. Many of you probably remember a number of years back, uh, had the, the project of uh, the Steel Driver, which is the fastest weed eater ever. May not look like much, but it's got a 1.5 liter Honda Civic engine in there. With the steel driver, I broke the transcontinental weed eating record. Weed eated from coast to coast in only two weeks, along with my twin brother who was using his souped up Echo location. Unfortunately, I've just had to sell the steel driver. But with Drake Mo, we're gonna have a whole lot of fun. All right, guys, that's it for me right now. I actually do have to go and do some work. Uh, but if you enjoy videos like this, uh, 
please subscribe to the channel. It really helps out tremendously. And uh, if you haven't seen it already, check out the other video uh, about uh, if Trent Palmer was a lawnmower. It's just uh, another funny video like this. I've got a lot of other videos as well that uh, go in depth on more uh, aviation topics as well as a back catalog of flying videos as well. So I hope you are able to check that out. I hope you're able to enjoy it and uh, stick around some for more videos.